TV's most lovable jock of all time. Yeah, you heard me, Greg Brady. Corey Monteith. The girl all the angels wish they sound like, Leah Michelle. Hello. How great does she look, by the way? I love the new hair. Pretty adorable. Okay, and I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <sorry. laughs> All right, so for the producers, because we did... <laughs> so, Leah, the number one question that I get asked is about a certain romantic pairing on this show. Do you have any guess as to what that coupling might be? Well, Rachel has been fairly lucky in these <laughs> the 13 and the back nine. Um, but we did have Jonathan Groff on the show. Yes. I only know that because I did look at your notes when you were sitting down there before you came on. <laughs> Are you cheating? <laughs> oh. But no, we had Jonathan on, who's my best friend in the whole world. I, I met Ryan Murphy through Jonathan when I was visiting on the set of his pilot that Ryan did with Jonathan called Pretty Handsome. And uh, the fact that we have him on the show now for me is just awesome. And he's incredible. And uh, Ryan wrote, what do you call it? A male diva? Um, uh, uh, well, yeah, what do we call Amoeba? it? Amoeba? Amoeba. Yeah. Amoeba. <laughs> and so it's Rachel's <laughs> sort of first time that she gets to have someone that she kind of, not competes with, but, you know, strives just as hard as she does. <laughs> well, I think the Academy knows what couple I'm talking about, because it's actually Finn and Rachel. Oh, there you the go. the number one asked about. Well, then I did yeah. some good PR for my good friend. <laughs> 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 he is with William Ken Morris. Gal. Right. <laughs> and he just finished <laughs> and is now out of a job. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Dad. But Corey's great, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's real good. <laughs> He's real good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for cheating on my notes. Yeah, you guys are getting wrong notes, girl. Right. <laughs> um, Corey, what can you tell us about Finn and Rachel as things stand? Say something nice, even though I didn't talk about it before. Okay. All right, um, uh, you know, I've heard it put that it's 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 a core relationship to the show, and I think that it's it's something that's gonna. You know, go the distance, and this is something that is going to be referred to throughout the season. Nice. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. nice. Uh, Chris, can you? I think I can attest to what an amazing time you all have doing the show because I was on set as you were shooting the finale toward the end of the season. You've been working your butts off. Um, there were dancers being injured, there was blood remover on set. You guys were exhausted and smiling through the whole thing. But I am curious about. Um, the physicality of it. You know, I know Leah, in, in one episode, I think some fans could see there was a bruise on your arm oh, during really? Like a Virgin. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, but I know, I mean, the Madonna episode was particularly physical for you all, and Lady Gaga. Can you just talk about... Amber Riley has, like, three toes left. <laughs> like, please, honestly, True. like... <laughs> We, we really, like, it is very physical, and I think we are so honored to be doing what we're doing, and the fact that, you know, we get to play these incredible dream roles that are so fun to play, but also we feel like we're doing a really important job here in telling some really important, you know, stories and stuff. So that really pushes us through. So when Amber had two bloody toes the other day, you know, we love what we do so much that we get up and, and, and we do it. And these things, you know, they're not easy, but then when they're over, we look back and we go, oh my God, I can't believe we did that. Mm -hmm. What the heck is season two gonna be like? I have no <laughs> idea. But you know, People it's- People are gonna be losing arms. <laughs> but, it's, <laughs> but, it's, but, they're, but they're challenges. And, they're, and there are so many things that I thought at the beginning of this process that I thought I could not do, that the writers have pushed me to do, that my fellow cast has pushed you know, pushed me, and that's why we're all growing and learning from one another, and you see that on the screen. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, you know, that push and the energy in us. You see the, the glee in us, and that's why I think, you know, it exudes onto the screen. And these guys will never bail on a number. I mean, in the, in the first episode back, Leah had a stomach virus. Right. Oh. We're shooting the big finale number, and she oh. was really, she, 
She would do the whole number, run off the stage and puke, right. come right back ready for the next number. She's like, okay, I feel okay now. They need that she friend. gave to everybody else, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to you! <laughs> I was sick the next day. And the next day, yeah, I was next to both of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she, she was out there doing it. <laughs> they, they, they never give up. You are closing out your first year, your first season wrap today, so congratulations. I think we should give them a hand for that. Because this is a high school, I thought it might be fun um, to, to go down the list and see if we were to put together a Glee yearbook of your first year, who would get the following honors? Oh. Most oh, infectious oh. laugh. Jenna. Jenna. Yeah. <laughs> Life of the party. Ian. 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 You saw his dance. <laughs> Shirt's coming off in like 30. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, most likely to fall asleep during class or rehearsal. Amber. 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 <laughs> you can fall asleep in anywhere. I'm surprised you fell asleep. Anywhere. Anyway. That's interesting. I thought it was going to be Jane because, Corey, I saw you, you snapped a photo you of her. snapped a photo of me taking a little snap yesterday. Yes. falls asleep a lot. <laughs> uh, most likely to trip down the stairs. No one? Diana. 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 Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've had a bump. Your center of gravity was off. That's not fair. <laughs> Uh, most likely to get lost in a room with one exit. <laughs> with what? One exit. <laughs> Wait. Anyone had like get lost? Corey. 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 Maybe Finn would get lost in a room with one exit. Uh, class clown. Chris. Chris. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Chris or Corey. Chris or Corey. Yeah. Corey. Well, That's more clownish. I'm just more sarcastic and, and judgmental. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Best nickname. Does anyone have a good nickname? Child Star. Child Star. Child Star. Child Star. <laughs> Matt's Triple Threat. Frankenteen. Boris Frankenteen. Frank 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 yeah. Jenna's confusingly Jewish last she's name. She's Bubbles. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she's Bubbles. Oh, Shelby. 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 Shelby Jinky Shelby. Juice. Thank you. Uh, Corey, what are the chances we're going to hear you sing Jesse's Girl? <laughs> <laughs> that was a direct just, question. <laughs> uh, a lot of fans are asking that. I think when they heard his character name, I think the bells went off. So the chances are good. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know. I was just throwing it out there. Are you also a fan of classic rock? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good. Corey's actually a good rapper. A oh. beatboxer. He also no rappers. Well, can you give rappers. us a little taste? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Too much for everyone to handle. Yeah, it's 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 just it's really yeah. No, I'm incredibly nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also curious. You did. How how was that? And was that the first time that you had worked with her? It, uh, she and I had done like uh, some weird workshop together in like Poughkeepsie three years ago. So this was a lot cooler. Um, but you know, it's so awesome. I think even Matt and I have these moments because we, you know, c come from New York. We were both on Broadway at the same time, and we have moments where we turn to each other and we're like, "Oh my God!" As actors, we and singers, performers, we feel so lucky to be doing what we love. You know, especially on a show that we really believe in. And I had the same moment with Adina, and even with Kristen, where we're like. Oh my God, I can't believe we're doing this. Especially if people who come from musical theater, it's very hard to sort of branch into the TV world. And, you know, Ryan has, you know, we thank him so much for really opening up that door to performers like ourselves. Well, that was a great gift of the show, you know. Is I forgot when you mentioned that all of your dreams are coming true, possibly making out with Neil Patrick Harris as well. Yeah, I got That's close. That's nothing to sneeze at. I, again, I got, I got about as close to making out with him as I got with. Uh, Mr. Schuster. And they both have very sweet breaths. <laughs> really oh, boy. delightful. <laughs> um, Matthew, I'm curious too for the cast. Um, obviously, you've had these incredible experiences lately going to award shows, meeting the president, going on Oprah, but just in your day to day life, have there been any experiences that really touched you or that you'll always remember that 
just a fan or someone on the street, someone who watches the show, said something to you because so many of your characters are so empowering in different ways. Um, and Corey, it can be a funny story too. It looked like you were going to say something, and then I just I'm still <laughs> beside myself because last night I was at the hockey game and Wayne Gretzky walked up and introduced himself to me, and I was like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> I'm from Canada, so that was like the meeting the king. Anyway. <laughs> I personally have a lot of young girls come up to me who um, are being raised right now in you know, same-sex households, who um, the fact that Rachel's raised by you know, two gay men. Um, I have so many you know, young girls. I had a woman came up to me, and she said, you know, my daughter, someone came up to her at school and was like, are your moms lesbians? And she was like, yeah. And the mom said, how did you get that courage? She goes, mom, I'm like Rachel Berry. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and I just think that's the coolest thing, that it's not approached with fear, mm -hmm. that it's approached, we, 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 this is humor, this is happiness, this is, you know, and, and that's how we can approach these things now, not with a sense of fear. A woman um, came up to me a few weeks ago, and she was like, you know, my son, uh, who